talking about the occult mockery of police and military personnel. We're on slide number 36 on the What on Earth is Happening dot com radio show page. This is the symbol of the police force, the emblem of the police force of Victoria, Australia. And the inverted pentagram can be clearly seen. The British crown of the queen is above the points of duality. And the banner below the inverted pentagram says uphold the right. And I would suggest that this has zero to do with the rights of people in the city of Victoria or anywhere in Australia or anywhere in the world for that matter. And this is all about upholding the divine right to rule. That's why there's the British queen's crown up above the pentagram. Well, they're clearly upholding the crown, that right. They're not upholding your rights. They're doing everything they can to dominate and control and put people's rights down and uphold the rights of the so-called monarch, the sovereign being a queen. Hold those rights up, the divine right to rule, as it is claimed by tyrants, megalomaniacs, kings and queens the world over no matter what time or place. Psychopaths, in other words, who think they're God. And yes, these people will take an oath to the queen and say that they'll do anything she tells them to do. The chain of obedience. Blatantly putting the inverted pentagram right there, and this often is right on their third eye. They'll wear it, you know, in their hats as a badge, etc., that the fraternal order of police certainly represents none of those things, uh, although they're employing that word, those that phrase on their um, emblem to try to reel people in to get them to think that that's what this somehow represents. But in fact, we'll see it's really the raising of duality over unity, uh, maintaining an us versus them mentality, and uh, keeping not only their members, but the rest of the public confined to the Masonic floor of the house. So uh, we'll look at that after we break down some Masonic symbolism later in this talk. Uh, a very obvious, blatant example of the use of an inverted pentagram is the Victoria Police's emblem, specifically as it is used in uh, police hats in uh, Victoria, um, Australia. So if you look look at image number 43, right on the third eye, or in other words, between the third eye and crown chakras of the body, meaning right in the middle of the forehead of the individual, they're placing this inverted pentagram, which we broke down earlier uh, on, I believe it was show uh, one, uh, 114. We broke down the uh, Victoria Police's emblem with the uphold the right and the crown above it as their, uh, their uh, word on the sachet below the inverted pentagram. And I suggested that this is exactly um, telling people symbolically that they're upholding the, the divine right to rule of the British crown. They're not upholding the people's rights. Um, this is a, a, about as blatant as it gets, an inverted pentagram placed at the third eye chakra location. This is blatant mockery of the person who's wearing this. This is telling them we're putting the symbol of the inversion of spirits, you know, the raising of duality above unity right on your head, right on, as a matter of fact, the place of the, the awakening of spirit, the third eye chakra. And, you know, of course, I would suggest that the heart really is the center of spirit, but in conjunction with the balanced brain, that's what's really opening care in conjunction with the balance of the brain is what's really opening our spiritual vision. And that's represented by the third eye or the one eye, the all-seeing eye. And they're placing this satanic emblem directly at that location of the prefrontal cortex. In other words, right on the forehead of the individual. It can't really get any more obvious to me 
but uh, there are people who say this is coincidental. I think the people who are making this symbolism know exactly what they are doing and um, are openly mocking police through the use of this symbolism on their body. Unfortunately, because police and other members of the general public are completely symbol illiterate, they can't see that mockery that is being done wordlessly because they're not initiated into such occult symbolism. That's part of why I'm doing this presentation to try to help people become symbol literate so when they see these things, they understand what they're really seeing. They can read the language of symbolism. So let's look at some one eye symbolism when it comes to police and military. And really, this is all relating to, it's going to ultimately relate to money, the one eye, the fake one eye. That's why so many of these people continue to do what they're doing because that's their God. That's what they worship. You know, they don't have any allegiance to truth. They don't have any alle allegiance to freedom. You know, they, they just take money for doing actions and that's it. And unless that source of money dries up or stops flowing, they're going to continue to be the puppet of whoever is commanding them. So one eye symbolism is important, not just for understanding it from a perspective of money, but from a perspective of really seeing the positions that they're using some of this symbolism on, because you'll see it used at that, at that third eye location over and over again. This isn't accidental. They know where to place something for it to have the maximum effect uh, synergistically uh, in the, the morphic field uh, of the body. You know, this is, this is a cult projection, it's known as. You're, you're projecting your symbolism in the location of the body where it is absolutely the most effective. So you'll see symbols being used at the third eye location or in general, what we're talking about is right up against the brain that's no accident either. They're putting it on or around, you know, directly around the skull. Um, there, that's a totally deliberate effort. So that proximity is having an effect on the field of the body. That, you know, proximity through, f through the form being present right near that energy vortex that is within the body, the chakra system.